Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Mesolite Visual. My name is Dominic and in this video we are going to take this layout and transform it into this result in ARCHICAD. This is a process that will demonstrate all the skills and tools necessary to complete a design of your house in ARCHICAD. Whether you are a beginner or advanced ARCHICAD user, the process will transform your skills and approach to residential architecture workflow. Welcome returning viewers and subscribers and if you are new, please kindly subscribe. Make sure to check our Patreon page to download all the resources we use for our videos and our BIM platform where we share the templates, presets, projects, ebooks, courses and other resources to optimize your workflow and become efficient in your project delivery. The link is in the description. Without any further ado, let's get started. But before we start, don't forget to download the project below if you want to follow along with this demonstration. Yeah, this is the project that we're going to transform. It's just a basic four bedroom house that is in conjunction with the site, as you could see. And if I had to zoom in here, we have uh, a double garage on your right there and then with um, an entry porch or patio that has a double volume at the entrance. See, this side is going to be a library for this project. So we have the access from both the garage and the entry porch that would lead you to the long corridor. And within the corridor, we have some access to this four bedroom uh, or four bedrooms. Um, and if you go down or towards the end of the corridor, there is an open, open kitchen and lounge, open kitchen, dining and lounge. And here where there is a square, it's a little bit of like um, a pit, a sunken pit or a sunken lounge uh, kind of uh, arrangement. So that's basically this side is just your master bedroom um, with an insuit and uh, with uh, I think everything, every amenities involved there. Then we have a pool, a swimming pool right on the edge of the of the boundary. So yeah, that's basically what we are going to transform. If you, if you look at this on 3D, this is um, just a basic um, walls that we uh, purposely uh, done to uh, create a layout for the purpose of presentation. So we're going to transform this into something that um, you saw from the introduction of this video so basically to start i'm going to select all the windows like we could see they're not in the right position i'll come here under design tool palettes let's activate the window tool and then hit ctrl a to pick all the windows in your file and then once you've selected all the windows from the info box here you can scroll and roll up your mouse wheel there is this section seal or height or header height so what i need to do here currently it's at 600 but um, i need to set this to be a header to wall base so that i can now key in the height of all the windows and doors it should be at 2.1 which is two two thousand one hundred millimeters i'm using millimeters for this and then i'll hit enter that will align all my windows in the same position in the same height which is basically 2.1 I think um, also the doors are on that level if we could look at it yeah and then another thing is the design of these windows currently they are just specifically done for layout because on the floor plane it doesn't it's very difficult to judge the design of a window so that was basically um, the idea at the beginning so we're gonna uh, look at also onto the design of these windows for example for the for the kitchen i'm going to have a, a maybe a like kind of like a splayed window that will be long and narrow um for the bedrooms i'm going to have something wider but with a multiple um openable panes and then yeah and then i'm going to also change the design of this folding uh sliding doors to suit whatever um, arrangement that is going to be here because we have a pool remember it has to open up to the pool and yeah even the garage door is going to be changed to a very interesting design same applies to uh, this area so what I, what I like to do when I start or to approach a project like this I would start by looking at 
trying to come up with a, a holistic or the, the whole picture of how this I want it to be in terms of the, 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 the structure and the roof. That is what it, it's important, um, guys, to understand. So as it is now, there's really nothing that I could do in terms of the window and door designs like I was, I was, I was mentioning it earlier on. So, but before I do that, I need to now settle or create or finalize in terms on how the roof is going to be uh, um, uh, it's going to look like in conjunction with the with the shell of the building so to do that I'll start by selecting all the walls let's activate all the walls from the design tool palette and then hit control a what I want to do is to um, to override the surface of this wall so I'm going to come here and um, wall settings and then under model section let's make sure the override surfaces for both sides are active and then i can come here what i want is to select um i'll search for a paint that is more white let's go for titanium white and then i'll link the surfaces to select all of them or to make them affected and then hit ok why i like modeling on white white gives you um, a contrast in anything that you're going to add here as um as, as a secondary so I, i'd like to have white as contrast on what i want to create and you can it makes you feel and see things in a clear picture or clear manner because it's cleaner and it's minimal as you could see so issues like these corners i would uh, suspend groups and select both these walls to fillet or, or intersect them to correct that intersection because um, it is important to understand that the same applies to here we need to pick it from this uh, reference line and i can use the stretch length reference with, the, with this corner to clear off that same applies to the side i'll do the same and reference with this corner as well and to clean up uh, that yeah so basically that's what makes up the this wall or the design okay like i said in the roof let's now see how best we can do the roof obviously it's going to have we're going to adjust some position of um or the position of some walls here to um try to achieve a certain feel and design so it's not final to have a layout like this and uh, it's gonna be influenced by how i want the concept in terms of the roof and all the, everything to be like so yeah let's get started i would um, uh, start by placing a roof or come up with the concept of a roof what i want so in order for me to approach this i would just pick an elevation for example let's go to the plan view and then pick this elevation right click and open it with um i will just open it with the current view settings what I want to do in this elevation is just to come up with some sketches on how I want the front. I normally start with the front because the front is the is the face of the project. It's a welcoming part of the project. So it has to be on point. So that's why I normally start with um, creating or focusing on, on the front because it will set the tone of the entire concept. So what I want here in this case, um, according to my sketches, I would go here under the documents. Let's pick a polyline tool just to try a sketch. What I want here is to have something like uh, I would, let me just draw a box. I'll start with a box like that. And then this, I'll pick this point, move it somewhere here. This, I'll drop it a bit like that. And at a point that will be straight to there. That's basically what I want in this area because I'm going to have a, a full glass here that will accommodate the double volume of my entry um, space or my entry lobby. Okay, and then this side I'm going to play around with some cladding on this wall and just 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 just, just to have a thing. And then this side is going to be a flat roof, and at the background you're going to have another big roof like that, going all the way to there. Yeah, I think it makes sense if you, if, I, 
if you could uh, relate with this my with my sketches so let me know in the comment section what you, what 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 will be the, your approach in this uh, uh, type of uh, situation how will you approach this let me know in the comment section so what I need to do is to delete these lines and then try to achieve this using the tools roof tools so I'll go back here under the upper story right from this level what i need to do is to right click on the ground floor to show it as a reference because i want to trace it over while i'm doing my roof design okay so i'm gonna come here under design tool palette and activate the roof design so the first thing i need to do is um i would use the geometry method of a flat you could use flat you could use whatever you want because i'm gonna um demarcate this structure into portions i'm not gonna uh, roof everything with one roof so the area of above the garage is going to be a slab this side is going to be a separate roof and then the remaining also is going to be a separate roof also is going to also, uh, i'm gonna have a uh, bits of um, a uh, slab above here to accommodate this uh, big roof okay so let's do that i would uh, draw a line here that will indicate um, the direction or the slopeness of that and then I can uh, draw a line or a roof diagonally like that then I can hit OK because it's not linked with this uh, view I can go back to the ground and try to find it I think it's been linked with uh, the upper story let's see here it is I need to select it and then I'm going to make it at zero so that I can see it from this level right okay I will make sure everything sits where it's supposed to the modeling um, what you call modeling craftsmanship I don't know it has to be accurate uh, guys so once you're done with this I think uh, this I'll set it to be uh, under the roof pitch let's set this to be 19 okay and then from here i will mirror a copy let's control shift m to mirror a copy from this axis to the side and then i'll take this edge i would offset this edge all the way to here right okay all the way to this wall something like this and then I can take also the reference line for the roof to there so if we check on 3d you would have something like that okay and then this has to go all the way I will move it to align with that okay so that's basically what I want to achieve in this area and if you zoom in here I like to model using the simplified plan um, graphic override combination if you are using a, a get default template so let's just do that so that it can be I can see clearly the lines as you could see all right so we have an issue here of these two roofs where they're joining I'm going to fix that also and again I don't need to have a composite for this roof I'm going to remove another layer so to do that let's select this roof and then uh, by the way guys if you want to follow through with this uh, tutorial i forgot uh, check the link on the description to download this uh, project uh, in order for you to to uh, follow with uh, this demonstration check the link on the description it's under our patreon membership just go there and uh, download it so uh, what i will do is um, change the structure to just a basic i don't want to have uh, that and then I can just leave it under timber material it's fine what I need to do is to scroll here and find the thickness and then I'm gonna make it 460 the thickness to be 460 like I said there's an issue here of, of where this roof are, are meeting so this also needs to be changed to fix this I'll open its settings and then I would find an area where to change the I'll set the vertical angle to be to be plumb or perpendicular something like that and then i'll hit ok just to correct that perfect so now i have a perfect connection of these two roofs 
to be more like a one roof now okay so another thing that i need to do now i can now select this wall stretch it all the way i'll pick this point and then stretch it all the way underside of this uh, roof but it's important to understand the connection um guys because when i just stretch it underside uh, the roof because the roof is angled so it will create this funny joint so in order for me to uh, fix this i would have to stretch this all the way like that and then clear and again it's also gonna make us uh the glittering of surfaces so what i need to do is to right click and then connect to bring in solid element operation while the element is being selected and it's being added as a target that's the wall let's select the operator as the roof and then add and i'm going to use subtract with upward extrusion kind of an operation and then hit execute to clean up this joint so now we have uh that we also have some little bit of issue there but this can be fixed by increasing the length of this edge i'm going to select this and then i'm going to offset the edge i'm going to just use value of one that will clear off that i can make sure this it's in line as well i'll do the same to the side okay so we have a clean connection of the roof right so what we need to do i'll mix minimize this because i'm going to use this more often so instead of um, bringing it in and out i would just have it docked there to save time okay so that means this wall has to go up and then this one has to go up as well and that one so they have to be on the same height even if, even that one so what i need to do is to pick this uh, parameter by alt and then click in this wall and then i'll control alt to inject the parameters to the walls that i want them to go up like this one that one that one this one perfect so and then i'm going to apply the same logic of solid element operation so i'll select all these walls let's select all the four walls this one didn't go all the way so what i'll do i'll just select all of them and then maybe increase the height to the apex of this roof right so then i'll come here under my solid element operation i'll add all these walls as targets and then i can select the roof as uh as the operator then i'll use the same operation subtraction with upwards extrusion just to clean up that okay we have a little bit of uh, discrepancies here that needs to be sorted out okay don't worry about this because uh, i want to change also this area i want to change this area as well so let's go here under the ground floor and i can minimize Let's minimize the solid element operation too. What I want is to bring in this wall inside just to create a little bit of depth on this on the surface on this plane. So I'm going to maybe push it back by let's push it back by 300. I'll control D and then select this. Push it back by 300. I think let's um push it back again by 300 yeah i think 600 to do so one thing that i need to do as well is to change the width of this uh wall i can change the width of this wall or i can cut specifically i can trim only i can trim this wall by here and then only change the thickness of this to be equal as the roof so if you see here what I want to achieve is that I want to have a continuous um, thickness of this profile of the roof, all the way, even this side as well. So to achieve that, I will uh, I will go to the top menu bar and find a split tool. Let's activate the split tool and then select the soul. I'm going to split it here into half or into two, and then uh, I'll pick this two fillet or intersect then select again this one also to intersect to correct the joint in between the three elements or the three walls so i'll do the same to this wall i'll pick the split tool i'll select it split it here then uh, uh, add a selection of these two and intersect them same as to this ones as well intersect to clean up this um 
joint between three walls so i'm gonna select this wall and and uh change the thickness to 460 just to to match my roof uh profile so definitely this will be affected the window and then i can just move it uh, to inline it with that wall okay so if you check on 3d you see something like this you know what i think for this wall i don't think i need that i'll just get rid of it and then just to remain with this i can have this wall as a cladding let's select these two walls as flat hour because cladding cannot go all the way to the inside so what i did uh, what i'll do i'll split this wall here you can split also in 3d but uh, i won't advise it if you are still a a, a rookie because uh yeah but it's possible guys you can do it on 3d i can pick this two and fill it the, the problem with this um doing some task in 3d window you won't be accurate in most cases but for splitting i don't think it does really need to be in a floor plan so i'll pick these two intersect to clean up the detail and then i'm going to select these walls make sure they're affiliated i don't know why they're creating there's a funny line that is coming from this wall which is this one but it's okay so let's select them and then assign this it has to be a cladding i would use a cladding make sure you unlink so that you can only change one side and um, this is going to be stone cladding let's find the stone work two hit okay there we go we have now cladding for this okay so this area, this side i'm going to trim off this wall add it as a target and operator is going to be the roof and um, use the same subtraction with upward extrusion operation and hit execute to trim off that perfect i can minimize my solid element operation window perfect and then i would also do it on the side as well let's go here under the floor plane and then uh, i'm going to move back again also this uh, garage door by let's move it back by maybe 300 something like this yes and then what i need to do is to check this wall or select this wall set it to be 460 to match the the profile of uh, our our roof so if you check on 3d you would have uh, this kind of arrangement but uh, because we've increased the size of the wall so it will create this kind of a problem so you just need to select this edge offset it to all the way to there because it's a life operation it will trim off that okay it looks great already and uh, what i need to do is to make them on to be on the same color i want them to be on the same color so i'll select these walls open its settings and um uh for it's going to be tricky because uh, i need to be very careful with how i want this to be selected so i think let's unlink this and then i'll choose this side and then make sure it's uh let's go for paint this one and then uh, hit okay that's what i wanted okay for this one is going to be i think let's just do it separately i'll pick this one and then go back i also want to change the this surface to be that and then hit okay something like that oh i forgot also to change i want the inside to be uh, just timber so this is going to be our search for wood and uh, let's find wood oak light hit okay yeah something like that does it really no let's find a different timber if we find uh, let's say wood maybe mahogany mahogany vertical Yeah, for now it will do us our thing and uh let's move on to this wall because of the reference line guys uh you see the reference line of this wall it's from the outside and then the reference line 
of the soul is from the inside so it's very difficult to um, um, make changes to the, the surfaces on both wall at the same time because they are not in the same reference location line so what I do I'll pick this one and then open its settings instead of using this side this side is going to be uh, the wood wood uh, vertical and then uh, this is going to be um, paint even this one is going to be this paint black anthracite, anthracite paint <laughs> and then hit ok so that will be something like this okay don't mind about this anyway i'm gonna also apply cladding on this so i don't really care about the sides so the roof as well is going to be on the same um color let's find this area set it to paint where is our paint uh and set yeah so on this elevation you would see something like this it looks impressive i need also to change the underside of our of our roof to match the mahogany material so i'm gonna activate that and search for wood let's use mahogany horizontal and uh yeah but uh, what i need to achieve here is the continuity of the material you see they are these ones are horizontal and then this are vertical so i can now set this into into a vertical mahogany instead of yes now it's more like a continuous um material okay looks great already looks great so yeah that's basically the concept that i want to uh carry out and then from the back here what i'm going to have uh is uh i think it's going to have a problem here a bit what can i okay this i can have a beam i can have a beam here and then make this wall all the way okay now i get what i can do instead of having this all the way like that this is going to end somewhere there yeah okay that's the case all right so i'm pretty happy with the results so far now let's do the entire roof or the remaining parts of the roof so for the garage it's pretty simple it's just gonna have a slab let's activate a slab tool there but before we do everything in terms of the roof i see we have challenges with uh, let's just have a base of our building which is going to be a floor slab so i'm going to um, go back to the plan view and uh, activate the slab tool for the slab i want to just use a basic structure and uh, the material is going to be concrete but what i need to do is to override the top surface to be a tile the top surface and then the edge as well let's find for a pretty okay i'll go for 10 30 by 30 or 300 by 300 tile and then i'll link the edges hit okay so i can now quickly uh, place that i like to place tile i mean the floor from the inside i would use the inside edges of my building instead of the outside footprint so quickly do that i don't know in your region how you guys do this layer, but in our region you have to if you're having a structural walls like that has to start right from the footing and then they're gonna go all the way so in terms of the foundation is going to be and um casted i mean the floor slab is going to be casted in the inside of your your foundation walls so you'd have your walls coming right straight from from the footing to the roof and I know in other countries it's different uh, countries like Zambia because I had something uh, that I've worked on before there I know their their approach is also different from from ours so I'll just go all the way by clicking on the points the internal points corners of this 
structure to complete. In most cases, I want to separate the floor slab for the garage from the main building because uh, you have a, a drop. You have a drop of maybe 100 to to cater for the for the walls, and then you have a finish of a screed on top. So this I'll just for the demonstration I'll just leave it the way it is now, and, and come here pick this edge then let's close it off from that corner where we started perfect and then we're gonna have another slab here for the entry let's just draw it like that we definitely have some planter here and then this could also go all the way I could pick this um, slab parameter and then draw another one for the path okay for the path right and then i'm going to have a slab again around this area i'll just draw a rectangle all the way to them and i can take this to there i can add a polygon to let's add a polygon here and then draw a rectangle all the way to that side this will house our pool it will be just a walkway for our pool so i can check on 3d that's basically what i have okay so you could see now our slab underneath because they are set to be at zero which is the floor finish and if you look at the reference plane location of our slab it's sitting on the top so that means the top part of our slab is at zero zero. So if we use this one, so the zero zero is going to be on the bottom. So that would wouldn't give us a true definition of uh, the top of our slab is going to be our finish. So I'm gonna revert back to this one, and then to um, fix this issue, I would select all these uh, walls. So activate the wall tool and then Control A, and then I'm going to minus or drop them down. A bit by minus value which is going to be maybe 250 just to make sure it's yeah it covers the edges of your slab like that okay so even if you have to create a foundation you start to see that um, projections of your walls in your foundation and that clearly would help you to place your footings as well I'm not gonna place footings for this project because I'm focusing only on the, the design okay so yeah that's basically it so we need to move on and create the the other parts of our roof like i said the garage is pretty simple i can um, use a slab tool this time around we're going to change its surfaces not to match the tile because it's the concrete so i'll just um and i would want to override the surfaces and then hit okay from here i can pick one of the points let just pick this one and then draw a rectangle using a geometry method of a rectangle to place it like that so and i'm going to raise uh, the height of the uh, the roof the height of the walls a bit high for the garage so i'll select this two and then set it to be so instead of making it link to the upper story i would not link it or unlink it so that i can manually key in the height of this wall so i'll, I'll have it around 3.7 something like this even if I think it's too high let's make it 3.6 something like that okay perfect all right so let's move on to the other i think we're gonna have also some little bit of design work for the access and the face of the garage don't worry about that so i want us to focus first to try complete the entire concept of our roof so um uh like i said we're gonna have one roof for this area but with bits of uh with bits of um a slab so to achieve that i'm going to have a beam that will run across from here all the way to the side so i'm going to activate the beam tool in your tool palette and then by default the beam tool the reference line or reference axis is being um, placed on the center so i want it to be on the edge 
on the corner in order for me to uh, place this with easy on 3d so if i do do that i can now place it that i can turn it i think it's out should be i should go on the right let's go back to its setting and then change it to the right something like that perfect so now i can run my beam across all the way to all the way to here what's going on okay all right click and then hit okay perfect and then let's see it on 3d what i need to do again should i set it to be on the yeah i think it's on the it's on the perfect um level which is the sto story story one or the upper story one thing that i need to make is to make the, the thickness of the beam to be equal as uh for the for the wall so i'll make it equivalent to my my walls like that okay and then once i have this beam i can now run a wall on top as well there to there this wall will carry the load from it could act as a plinth to the roof so let's just make it um i will unlink it and set it to be maybe 1.2 or 1000 which is a meter for now it's subject to change okay it will be something like this and then the entire area here is going to be a slab so i'll pick this parameter for the slab and then i'll pick this corner to place a slab here do the same to this portion as well as this but for this to you know okay let's just use uh, i'll also use the beam tool for this area perfect so we're going to have uh, a kind of like a patio here for the worker because this is a worker wing so i'm going to have a floor again this side let's go to the ground floor and then i'll pick parameters of of the slab and then let's use geometry method of a polygon and pick the points to place a floor slab in this area if you check on 3d that's what we have the thickness of this slab shouldn't be much can i have it at 150 and should be minus 100 because we need a drop here and then i'm going to control shift d again while is this being selected uh, to make a copy all the way by 2.6 up and then i can change the story to the upper story and then set it to zero or maybe minus 300 let's have a negative value minus 300 just to create a low bit or it has to be equal with the slab yeah let's just make it same as the slab something like that and then these three are to change to be 150 thickness okay same applies to the internal one perfect so that's basically the arrangement on the side so now let's see how we can place our roof on the side so i'm gonna activate the first floor which is basically our roof plan and i'll activate the roof uh, tool here and then i'll start with this corner to draw the um, the area or the position where the roof is going to be placed okay so it's going to go all the way to here and then the direction will be looking on the side perfect so now i need to draw the roof to somewhere there because of the linked story it won't show here on the story i'll hit continue and then go back to the upper story to change this let's set it to set it to story one which is our roof plan 
in order for us to avoid um, confusion we can right click here and then come here under story settings or control 7 and then give this a name I'll say roof, roof level so that it's being named here so that we can what changed so this should be keyed into roof level and should be at zero okay so we need to make a copy let's mirror a copy control shift m i'm going to mirror a copy from here to the other side like that and then because of this wall there we're going to have this going all the way to the garage area and we're gonna have more like an offset an overhang of 300 something like that so if we check on your 3d that's what you have let's select all this and change the structure to a basic and set the angle to be 19 degrees the roof pitch so this is what we are going to have and this one should sit right above the the this roof the the one at the front so i'm going to select this and then maybe let's drag it up drag it up by following this uh yellow guideline it uh, gives us a guide for restricting our movement vertical so i'll raise it above by 500 so i think 500 we need maybe to add 200 on top of that just to give this kind of an effect okay so this will be now um plumbed as well vertically so let's open its settings and make sure the uh the angle is perpendicular like that to solve or sort out the issue of connections okay so that's basically what we have on the side let's drop down this by i think we need to raise this roof i mean the walls we're gonna raise the walls all the way i'll pick this point and then use this stretch the height all the way to the apex of this roof right and then uh, on the side we're gonna have an overhang here as well let's have an overhang of 300 let's just offset it out by 300 something like that so that when we when we do the solid element operation it got cuts okay so um we're going to have another wall that is going to be placed on top here another wall that is going to be placed on top here and then go all the way so i can just pick this wall or pick parameters of the wall like that and then find a good window to place that wall so i could pick this um line let's pick this wall uh, what's going on or let's find this edge all the way to there right click hit ok if you are using that so by default to ask you because there's a roof above it to ask you to crop this i don't want to crop using the crop to single plane roof because this is not a live um, operation so i can just say crop and then once i move the roof height it won't adjust with the with the height uh with these changes so i would hit cancel so that it can just uh place it like that and then i'll do the solid element operation um, cut so this is going to go all the way let's use this stretch length it's going to go all the way to there right and then we also need to clean up this area here so this wall also has to be all the way we are going to have a beam there there should be a beam let's um, go to the floor plan i'll show you where the beam is supposed to be should be a beam here to house that okay so we can uh, i can come here and then place a beam or do it on the floor plan let's just place it here 
or maybe change change this to the left and hit ok so that you can place it that way so you should go all the way to there and then it will go all the way to here again and then I click to complete that hit continue and then they're supposed to be placed from the top I think they're on the ground they're on the ground here they are supposed to be 230 as well same as same thickness as your your walls so I'm gonna scroll down here set this to be 230 perfect so if you check on 3d you won't see them because uh, they are on a level we need to place walls on top of them so I'm gonna go back but well, before I do that let's just pick parameter of this wall because it's at high level and then let's come here I'm going to place it there like that to there they should be captured all the way here if they're not let's go back and uh, set them to be I'm going to set them to be at the roof level so that they can disappear here and the representation should be also perfect so I'll come here on a 3d now I'm starting to see those um, walls so I can now select all the walls like that that are encroaching to the roof and then set them as target the roof is going to be both the roofs going to be an operator execute with subtract with upwards extrusion okay we have a little bit of of this here this can be achieved by let's offset this by just a small value maybe one just to clean up that it will disappear okay so that's basically that that's how the roof is going to be designed so at the back here i will also have a slab that will cut across this wall so i'm going to have another beam going all the way going across the master bedroom so i'm going to pick the beam tool and let's place a beam here to i think you should oh sorry about that it's always advisable to do this in a, a floor plan but uh with me <laughs> i like to take chances so i'll just draw it all the way like uh, to there right click hit ok if you are using the polyline um, geometry method okay so make sure you confirm and you check if it's sitting the way you want so now you're gonna have a, a wall here that will go all the way to there so I'm gonna pick this wall you can just draw a wall something like that right click hit ok and then i can select this wall um, turn the face to the inside and then i can select this wall all of this and then fillet once i intersected them i need to select this one and adjust it to all the way to there if it doesn't work it should work or i can just pick one of the points and then stretch it all the way like that okay so what i need to do now is to stretch the height of this to go all the way to the apex of our roof like so and then add it as a target from our solid element operation select both the roofs and make them an operator with operation of subtraction with upwards extrusion we can clean up the top part of our roof all right so that's basically how is going to be like this edge i'm going to pick it and uh where is the pet pop-out palette okay there we go let's it um activate okay i think the best thing is to find a clear view which is this one so if we click the edge and then use the offset edge we could come here reference with this distance same applies to this one if you want 
but I want to have a little kind of uh, an overhang here I can stretch this out stretch this out by 300 oh sorry it looks huge it was too much 300 yes and then do the same to this one by referencing it with that one okay so that's basically what we have we have a little bit of this issue here of this beam um, that is uh, encroaching we can uh, try to fillet it with this beam let's intersect them and see what will happen and then we can clean up these edges by applying it the same paint for our wall that's it's it's fixable another issue is here so what we need to do is to trim or split this uh, wall into this into two and then so that you can reduce the height of the other one so i don't want to do it in 3d i'll go back to the plan view to create that let's um minimize our sorry i mean operation so i'm going to trim it with the position of the with the position of the wall i mean of the beam so let's activate the split tool and then i'm going to just split it somewhere there and then i'm going to make sure this is there and then stretch it to there if we check on 3d i know we will lose our life operation because of that so i'm pick parameters of this wall to inject it to this one because they have to be on the same height this i'll add as a target operator is going to be the roof with subtraction with upward extrusion perfect we have to have a little bit of an overhang here as well i'll select this edge make it 300 looks great and then the remaining portion here is going to be a concrete slab i'm going to pick this that slab and then pick this corner by using a geometry method of rectangle i could just draw it that way okay so obviously when you're doing a slab uh, practically you would have uh, a, a little bit of a capping on top of your wall more like a parapet wall just to um, have more like a draining a drainage for your for your slab so i could select these uh, walls and increase its height or maybe drop um let's see if we increase the wall here yeah. i think we're gonna increase the wall as high as this one i can pick parameters of that and then control um alt to inject i'll inject all of these walls I inject all of these walls oh no way for these ones are gonna it's not gonna work because of that unless we trim it off here that will be another issue let me hit undo 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 or another method is to place a wall just place a wall on top here right i'm going to have a, a beam here anyway i'm going to have a big beam here anyway as a feature so i don't think that will act as a problem so for this one like i said i want a beam i can stretch this edge all the way to here to create a kind of a canopy there something like that okay at the back um I wanted to yeah you could see now the entire structure is starting to get shape so i would come back at the back because there are a little bit of an activities that we need to do by placing the roof i mean the pool and uh things like this fixing the sliding folding doors because we need a different design for that but you could see now our building is starting to get or to take shape okay so i'm going to uh, uh take a break and then once we back we're gonna continue with the cladding and then the front side fixing the doors for for everything thank you okay let's move on and uh, we need to look at uh, the issue of cladding this area because we're gonna have a cladding that will wrap around from the walls roof and then go all the way to the 
So that one is a pretty easy exercise. Uh, let's go to the ground floor and then I'm going to activate an object. I'm going to use um, an object tool to achieve this because there's an object called a profile, a profile sheet. So let's just uh, activate the object tool and then open its settings. Let's see why. Okay, let's open its settings and uh, I'm going to search for sheet. Let's set for sheet or say profile sheet. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna activate this one and then I'm going to change this profile to something like this. And then I'm going to set the width to be 300 and then reduce. I think this I'll leave it at 29. It's, it's fine. And what else again can I achieve here and change the roof pitch? I'll start with the 90 with the vertical one. So I'll say 90 and then hit OK. Let's come closer here to place it. Right, there we go. I'm going to select this point, move it to this position. And I'm going to pick again this point and use move point or stretch all the way to all the way to here all right so if we check on 3d we have something like this let's select it and increase its height by stretching the height all the way to the underside of our roof and then this also can go all the way unfortunately you cannot stretch the height from the bottom so you have to move it but it's sitting on zero which is fine it's sitting on zero which is fine so what i need to do i will uh, this space or the gap between the cladding and the element is for fixing it's always important to leave that kind of space so let's go back to, again to the to the plane view and then i'm going to control shift d to carry a copy of this and then place it on the same point and open its object to just um change the angle to match the roof angle which is 19. All right so there we go we see it now go all the way and uh, let's uh, say right click on the roof and then show it a as a trace reference so that we can trace it all the way to there so i'm gonna stretch this to there and let's take this section and move it in this area so that it can cut let's right click and then open the section we use sections to also position our items or position our elements so i'm gonna pick this element like i said and then move it up to here i'm going to raise it a bit because like i said you need to have an allowance for fixing so in this case i will just leave a height of a brand ring, which is 38 um, millimeters so this i would stretch it all the way to meet this there okay and then uh, go back to the ground floor let's select this oh sorry is it it's not selectable here select that Control shift m to mirror I copy to the other side like that and then i would uh, sorry how can i reduce the weight yeah i can reduce its size to there so that it can only focus on this wall so if you go back to our section would have now this in place only for us to position it on the on the correct height which is this one okay we're left now with the wrapping down which is going to be a vertical uh, member i'll go back to my floor plan and select the one in the floor plan which is uh which is that if it's difficult for you to select it what you can do select this one and then Control shift d again to mirror i mean to move a copy on the same point and open its settings to change the angle to 90 degrees because you want it to be vertical and uh, yeah you can go all the way to here we need to stretch it so that you can just stop the right 
also create a gap between let's create a gap between so if we check on 3d you have a cladding like that so we need okay here we need to move it back move it back okay let's move it back to there should be fine yes and then uh, the position of it should be should be all the way to this point and then i can stretch the height to the i could use section to make sure all the heights and this is sitting on the relevant height so i'm gonna stretch this all the way to what i cannot increase the height yes somewhere there and then if you go back to the ground and select the one that you can now let's stretch it all the way to match the vertical member so that you can have something like that i think on on a section we can also fix it um without having an issue okay that's our and then if we have i think the gap that we are creating doesn't give us justice we may have to bring it closer to the let's bring it a bit closer to the planes so i'm going to select this one move it somewhere here but uh, let's move it back by maybe five okay and then i'll do the same for this one as well bring it back and then move it up by five same to this guy what am i doing move it there i'll do the same to this area let's move it back by five so that when you go back to the ground I can now stretch also the vertical, I mean the the angled one, so that it can be match this thing. Let's see on 3D. Perfect. That's what we want. But you could see now there's an interference between the roof and this. So, like I said, it's always practical to leave a gap. A significant gap so I'm going to say move this up by 20 do the same for I don't know why this one is not okay let's move it up by the same height just to avoid the glittering of materials some of the surfaces so this one is going to be stretched to somewhere here and also this one and then i can also fix them on the ground as well make sure they are perfectly aligned and the other side as well Make sure they are perfectly aligned okay let's check the results perfect it looks great it looks great obviously we have windows here that have been buried down uh, buried under this so we are gonna create a slab and then um, use solid element operation to create those windows okay so I'll just go back here on the ground instead of having plain too many windows on the side okay we have only two so this one let's um, open its settings and uh, I'm going to set it to be the height that I want so it has to be let's check on the front 
the height of it should be 2.1 it should take the height of oh sorry about that 2.1 and then uh, the the width is going to be 2.2 okay so i'm going to create a slab of that amount of that uh value of uh of the height of 2.1 let's select it and then set it to be 2.1 right and then i'm going to make sure it covers the width of the window and uh obviously it has to match even the base offset of the window so for the slab i'm going to select the top part to be at 2.1 so i'm going to say it's going to be at 2.1 as well so that in 3d we have something like that Your, the whole base no we are going to let's select all the windows i think there's when we dropped or reduced the base offset of our walls by a negative value which is two, uh, 250 it affected the height of our windows because it's dependent our windows dependent on the header to wall base so instead of doing that let's select all the the windows right Control a to select all the windows and then i'm going to change this to be um header to story zero header to all top a header to story zero right and then that's going to be 2.1 2.1 perfect it's now accurate so i could now come here and then uh, select the slab add as oh it's going to act as an operator and then the cladding is going to add as it's going to um be added to a target so the operation is going to be just subtraction because it's just that and then hit execute so if i select this slab change the layer to hidden layer it will create the opening i don't know why it's still on zero this is has to be on zero okay perfect and then i need to fix the design of this window because it's not practical let's open it um, it's not functional i'll open the basic window settings under the parameters for the shape let's set this to be um 1.2 and then we can preview it here yeah that's basically what i wanted you can have a, a an openable of 900 is fine let's hit ok and then do the same we're gonna do the same for the toilet window let's um see the dimensions of it is 600 by 600 so that means we need a slab of a slab of 600 by 600 so i'll activate the slab and uh, make sure it's 600 i'll say 600 and then the height also should be 600 of the slab 600 the height is going to sit it's going to be 2.1 the base offset sorry and then so that on your 3d it's something like that and select this as an operator the cladding as a target and execute with a subtraction change the layer for this to be um hidden layer boom there we go so we now have a pretty smooth um, um windows in our cladding even though we need to uh, fix this we need to increase its height all the way to there yeah something like that okay so this is basically what i wanted in terms of uh, the front area so i'm going to have a planter here let's quickly do a planter there i would um minimize my my solid element operation and then i'm going to pick a wall i'm going to use a wall to draw the planter it's not it's going to be not linked and then set the height to be 500 the width is going to be 100 the thickness of the walls 
so that I can just draw it uh, from there. I will turn the reference location to the inside and then place it like that. Right click and then hit OK. And show on 3D. Perfect. So we'd have issues like this. But before we solve this issue, we need to drop our wall by a negative value of two negative 250. And then we can increase this to 750. To solve this issue, I'm going to pick this edge and and uh, maybe just a little bit, something like that. That won't even show in your eyes. Or push it back a bit. Or we can push this wall back a bit instead of it flashing with this wall. So let's just move it in by maybe 50. There we go. Something like that. And then we can fillet this or intersect. I don't know why I keep on saying fillet. I'm coming from, uh, I used ArchiCAD coming from AutoCAD guys. So some of these commands there, they are more or less related. It's only that the naming is different. So we need to fill this area with, uh, with soil. So I'm going to activate the mesh and then uh, I'm going to pick this point using a geometry method of rectangle and then fill in this with soil. Let's make the soil go all the way, maybe somewhere here, not to fill in the whole, the whole planter, it can go all the way to be realistic. Okay, and then I can maybe fix the underside issue to stretch it all the way like that. All right, so we have a planter, we have uh, our our cladding in place of the roof. So what you need to do is uh, these two windows needs to be also designed. So I'll select them and open its settings. What I need to do is just to increase its height. So under preview and position, make sure the elevation is activated. And then uh, I would find a parameter for the shape of the window and then oh no, before I say shape. So let's make this to be okay before we change here we need to make sure we get it the right size i want the height of it to be uh, 1.80 oh sorry instead of hitting enter I could have fixed the issue of further uh, 1.8 and then no i think 1.5 yes let's go back to our to our settings and then basic window settings we want to make this to be at least 500 let's see perfect so it looks great it looks great yeah that's how you do it and then uh, like uh, here is a double volume so you need to have a full glass we're gonna have a full glazing here so i'm going to um get rid of this wall and and uh, use my favorite tool which is curtain wall fill in the space but before we fill in that space we should also fix this issue that we are encountering here we have this wall that goes all the way to there remember this wall it come it comes from here to cater that but I, I don't think we need to to move it all the way to there we can fillet it with this wall. Yeah. We can fillet it with this wall. Select both of them. Fillet them to have something like that. Okay. That makes sense. And then we have uh, this little, I don't, I don't know, on the ground it looks like it's a cross set on the entry which is uh, this wall or oh, no it's just to protect this door i think we're gonna have it all the way let's have it all the way to the apex so that we can trim it off by solid elemental operation so i'm gonna stretch it all the way to here and then edit as a target select the roof as 
operator change the operation to subtraction with upward extrusion so that you can trim off the top part okay so that's basically what we have we have now a clean interior for our our roof okay so because it's a double following we need to have a full glazing here to take or maximize or take advantage of the space okay so let's go to the ground and then i'm going to activate the curtain wall tool to achieve that curtain wall tool right oh sorry and then i'm gonna just use a basic i don't want to make the changes or the settings already but what i need to do is here i'm going to place it you see i'm going to place it like that in order for you the curtain wall in order for you to work uh properly so if i change this to no override the graphic override you'd see that our curtain wall what's the problem here okay it's because of this gentleman we need to um open its settings i think we have to the best thing we could have done is to push them on the roof plane on the roof level so we could do that let's just uh change the linked story to roof but this will change our the height for this elements you see and that means we need to fix that as well these are one of the challenges that you face when you're doing your project but as long as you're doing the right thing so that will be key for your project so i'll bring this down here and then like i did move it up by five i used 20 isn't it or maybe something like that it must be clean now okay so that's basically what i wanted to create but uh, in terms of the curtain wall what i want to do explain here is because by default it, you have your members buried in, in your wall because of the reference line um, location so if you go here under its settings you would see we have this place boundary frames instead of using center i'm going to use the inside so that everything can be on the inside instead of outside now my position of the frames are going to be uh, perfectly or accurately positioned so that's what i wanted and then if you check on 3d you have that so i will uh, stretch this all the way let me just stretch this all the way to there right so you could trim off by using solid element operation for the for the curtain wall but that won't give you a boundary of framing underside the roof or the elements that have been used to cut right so if you've watched my previous video on curtain wall I, i've done two videos three videos if not three about curtain wall you would see the uh, the, the remarkable stuff curtain wall can can do for you in this case we have to have a framing that will be underside your roof like that so but before we change to that let's go to its settings and then under schemes i would uh, pick the favorites and find the empty scheme right yes i'd like to start from from scratch or you could go for let's say you could go for for this checkerboard right and then you could now select all the elements like that and then i can delete and then i can delete all the transom and then i can select the panel and then make it um deleted panel right so that you can have an empty panels like that so in terms of the height also it's important because um if we hit okay it will give you this just a boundary right so let's open our elevation so that we can now sketch this according to what we want right 
so an elevations I can use simplified so that I can see clearly all right so what I need to do is to make this underneath so I'm going to hit edit then I would activate the screen the scheme grid um, um, switch off the frame the panel the junction and the rest like like that and then I can now select this boundary line and pick the point move it underside your roof add another point in between here and then place it there on this point and then I'll add or move this point underside my roof like that so now I have that and I still have these grids you see these grids can represent uh, members I can create any pattern based on these grids right so let's see how we can do that and uh, the first thing that I'll do I want to create a frame for the width of the door so I'll hit exit and then select this curtain wall open its settings so under the the columns I will make sure columns are size of a door so in this case it's going to be 1.3 right and uh, maybe have three rows I'll have three columns 1.3 is going to be the one on the center because the door is going to be positioned on the center and then the remaining is going to be on the outside so if you hit OK I think that should if you come here and edit and see the arrangement of our our grids mm, no I think we have this from the outside so we could also create our own um, grids here based on what we want okay so let's do that I can take this grid and uh, move it this side by 300 and then do the same to this grid I'll select it move to this side by 300 let's see what the, the distance does it creates by moving that I'll hit M to measure this distance which is 1.4 I want to remain with 1.3 so I'll move this by 50 and then do the same to this one move it by 50 as well so that you can remain with and now a full width of our door which is 1.3 so in terms of the height let's see the height it's around 900 but we want to to make it uh, one uh, 2.1 so let's just move this to there okay so basically we have this kind of uh, arrangement now okay so if we hit exit and then check on 3d you would have something like that it's still empty because we haven't filled in with an information there so I'll go back to the elevation and then uh, select that again hit enter so I think we have uh, so if I hit exit we have this this represent zones because zones are activated on the elevations in order for for us to switch off this the zones and uh, do we have zones in ground floor okay we have we have zones here I don't think we need zones here but anyway we can just hide the layer for example right click let's just right click and uh, okay select the zone right click and layers hide the layer I'll hide the layer on elevations yeah something like this and then I can now select this um, curtain wall and then hit edit what I want to do now based on the grids I'm going to draw frames so I'll start by drawing a, a vertical no not panel frame activate the frame I'll draw a frame from here across oh sorry sorry about that it's not straight let's just uh, I'll activate the frame draw a frame horizontally that will be a transom for the height right and then I'll have another 
let's draw another leaf there for the frame of our door another one will be from here oh sorry it's not straight as well what is going wrong what is wrong with me there are too many lines that's the problem okay this should do all right and then from the at the top here we have just the one frame that will go all the way just to support this something like this and then if i want i can have another one maybe in between here just for for the sake of it it's not straight make sure you, whatever you're doing is straight so just draw it like that okay so now i need to fill in this with 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 panels so i'll activate the panel and then fill in here panel 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 this should be a whole panel yes panel because of the lines in the backgrounds so though i can't select the, the whole region so i had to select multiple times to to fill in but anyway it does the job okay so i basically have the the my curtain wall design in place so i need to take this panel and change it to a door let's change it to a door here under member type let's find a door i'll go with this one by default the door looks horrible so that we need to open its settings here and make sure the 2d is full resolution and same as to the 3d should be at full resolution and then now uh, if we go to the next page and uh, make the frame leaf to be i'll just go for 40 and then uh, move on here i would find something i like in terms of the handles move on and for the i'll override the the style of the symbol in the floor plan and then this is going to be dashed and uh, it's going to be this line okay let me find dashed long it's not showing yeah should be dashed let me just leave it at dashed yeah and then everything in terms of uh, the material it looks okay i'll hit okay to apply the changes if we check on 3d before exiting the mode you could now check and confirm what you want to achieve i think the depth of of this is too much what i need to do is hit exit and i can select the whole um curtain wall and go back to the settings and uh, under frames sorry let's come here under frames so what we're going to do is uh, the mullens we're going to come here mullens let's change the depth to be 150 and this could be 110 something like that same applies to the frame turns on frame should be 150 here is going to be 110 boundary also is going to be the same thing 150 this is going to be 110 yeah and we can we can argue that we can change also the week the the thickness for both for all of them the thickness of uh or the width sorry to be 40. And then if you hit okay those changes has to apply perfect now it looks great you could see you have a clean um uh curtain wall system i don't know what happened to this they're not going all the way to the see this trans one we need to fix that i think it's because we've, re we've reduced the size of our the size of our, the the members so to fix this let's go back to the elevation and come here select it hit edit what i'm gonna do is just to select these members and stretch them to fix them like that manually it's unfortunate that i had to do it manually like this but hey there's nothing that i can do <clears throat> Let's 
say mark the frame even at the top here I know we have some issues let's see at the top top there perfect so you could confirm before you hit exit on 3d and see if there is if this is what you want i think it looks great i have an issue here because this panel has to be one panel let's come back this should be one panel so what i need to activate the panel and fill in here i fill in the spaces fill in this one as well fill in that one check on 3d it has to be one perfect it looks nice and clean i can hit exit exit edit mode now and remain with that fantastic i'm impressed it looks great okay so let's move on now to the other parts of the building which is the garage side the garage side has uh, multiple components here let me start with this area here i wanted to create more like a boxed frame for this so i'll go back to the ground and then what i need to do on the ground oh well this has to be inside sorry it has to open from the inside so i, I can flip it let's see and then check on 3d is it what i want it didn't change anything right yeah no it's fine i'll leave it the way it is only the side needs to be changed let's just go back and fix the frame for the door you could see they're not going all the way here i'm gonna stretch it even if i'm just using this project for demonstration you could see how how accurate i want to be instead of just oh the door panel uh, vanished so i need to come and fix this again all right let's go back and change this to a door panel let's open settings and run through those settings like i said full for both 2d and 3d and then i would change the opening side to the outside right yes and then uh no let's just leave it in the inside we never know what's and then i can move on into the other ones this i wanted to have it uh set 40. the handle i'm gonna change to something like this and overwrite the model view options then change the line to dashed and set the pen to 15 0 0.15 millimeters i think with that everything is set hit okay we can confirm on 2d if the orientation of the opening is fine perfect i can hit exit now and move on to what i wanted to achieve here so like i said i want i'm going to pick this wall parameter or parameters and then i'm gonna draw another wall starting from here but the reference line should be from the outside i'm gonna turn it on side like that and then uh, draw it there to close it off something like that okay but this has to go all the way to there to kind of create a box like that this could be used for various things for drainage of storm water from the from the roof slab for this garage so on 3d we're gonna have something like uh, something like a box like this so now we need a beam that will run across and become to frame up this area so i could pick this wall let's just pick this wall and Control shift d i will uh, to carry a copy to flash it here or you could select this wall Control shift d right and then stretch this wall all the way to the side Oh, sorry just to go all the way to here ladies and gentlemen and then i'm gonna set this wall to be 500 and uh, the top part of this wall should be um well i can just move it manually by control d and then move it at the 
top here to reference with this wall okay and then what i need to do is to increase the height of this door instead of 2.1 because there'll be there'll be more vents going to this garage so i will say 2.6 that should be the height okay and then uh, now i know i can um, adjust the height of this wall right on the underside of or on the top of your your garage like that perfect and then we need a ramp to access this garage so i'll go back to the ground floor and then on the on the ground floor what i need to do i have this represented 2d we have to do it in 3d okay and i don't think this is accurate it has to be on the center okay something like this and then i'm gonna activate mesh tool to create this there are a lot of ways of creating ramps in i you could use a ramp object or use a profile i like to use mesh because it's easy so i'm going to draw a box here of mesh and then i could uh let me just offset this edge to be right here line okay even this one is okay this is just a 2d line let's get get rid of it 2d lines were just made for the purpose of presentation but now when you're doing 3d you replace these 2d lines with some 3d information so so it's important and i don't want to keep both of them because they will create a lot of discrepancies in my drawing and your file again becomes big unnecessarily with a lot of unnecessary elements so this is basically what i need i need to switch off the fill for this underflow plane and section get rid of it and then hit ok um like i said this should be positioned and the center i'll show you how to transfer this information again to be 3d it's 2d for now but if you want to transfer it you have to do that so let's check on 3d first and see we're gonna change the material of this to be let's say concrete for now and then the top surface i'm going to an override get rid of that good and let's set the height for this to be at uh, to be at zero is it our zero yes that's our zero and then this has to go all the way to there something like that i think we can also bring our door to zero yep something like that and then now we need to um, create a ramp because it's flat as it is now let's create a ramp i'm gonna pick this point and then use um, elevate mesh just drop it down by 100 do the same to the other side drop it down by 100 it's subject to change you could come and then adjust the height for the ramp as well for now it looks fantastic so i can like i said i want to transfer this information in the mesh so i would select the mesh and then activate the mesh tool here and uh, press and hold the shift i mean the space bar to activate the magic wand as if as if you are doing controls in inside topography and then click on that one hit ok so that information will be transferred i can now get rid of the 2d lines now and then this line can be also made um, dotted if you want or dashed like that isn't this impressive so if you know even on 3d you could see we have this kind of uh, representation perfect so i would have a planter in between the paving or the walkway and the uh, what you call the ramp so this one has to be dropped a bit minus 100 like that and then let's just have i would use the same wall we've used here for this plant i'll pick parameters of it and then i'll use the rectangular method I'll pick this corner then place it to there oh supposed to be the inside i'll suspend all the groups and then turn this from the inside right perfect so let's see how the magic is on 3d that's basically what i wanted to achieve so the walls are supposed to be also starting from negative 50 which is perfect what i want 
that's a planter we need to fill in with grass as well or soil just to be here on 3d pick this corner and uh, place it there drop it down a bit maybe make it 400 so that you can have this recess perfect so it looks great it looks great already i think we need also to change the height when we adjusted the the base offset for the door we didn't do the height of this all right and we can also treat the underside of this by having a slab there i could uh, let's see pick the slab pretty easy and then uh, uh zoom in and orbit here so that you can find the corners i'll use this corner to that corner and this should change because it's going to be more like a plaster i'm gonna set it to be 50 50 is too much let's make it 20 yeah just for the sake of treating the underside of that we can also change the material to uh, ah, come on guys what can we use here a plaster do we have a plaster here I'll just go with generic internal feel. I don't know what it is, but then it will work. Okay. Thanks a lot. And um, great designs as well have great elements. So we can't have this kind of a garage door. We have to replace it. With that, with that being said, I have a pack of patterns that I've created for you guys. Check the link on the, on the description to download this pack. There's a bunch of garage doors and um, other doors as well, swing doors you could use for that. Uh, the, the good part of these things, you can edit them before you can apply to your project. So for example, I, I like this pattern. I would select this. It's made up of a slab uh, elements. What I need to do is to copy it into my project, control C, and then wait for it to add to the copy clip or the clipboard. Once it's done, Let's go back to our project and then uh, I'm going to go to the plan view and paste that information there. Let's control V and paste the information here. Where is it? There we go. It says that a classification scheme has been changed. That, that doesn't mean anything. What you need to do is say, it says keep your classification system intact. I would say yes. And then paste it there. Where is it let's just drag it here and uh, I will select that but before you select this make sure on 3d the materials are let's check the materials I can just say show all in 3d where is it mm -hmm. so I need to previous 3d I was using my queue so I need to my queue as well for the, in order for this to show Let's just mark you this portion, hit F5 or, or right click and then say show selection in my queue. Also, uh, there we go. It looks impressive. So I need to save this as a door in order for it to work or a door leaf. Whichever way, you can save it as a door or a door leaf. I'll take adv advantage of already placed door and save this as a door leaf. So I'll select that, go to file, libraries and objects, save selection as a door leaf. All right and then here what i need to do just to i'll just say garage door and then save just like that and then hit ok once it's done and you can get rid of this material once you have saved as a as a door leaf and then uh, show in my uh, 3d so let's see Let's go back to our, change the override to simplified in order for you to see clearly. Perfect. So I'm going to select this um, garage door, open its settings, and then apply that door leaf we just saved. Under garage settings, let's find, uh, click here in this arrow to find door leaf. Custom leaf, make sure you are in custom leaf, okay, and then find the garage door. I have bunch of doors that I've, I've saved for this but in this case i'll go with my garage door and then hit ok you'd see 
that pattern being applied to your door like that. Wow. It looks impressive. Let me know in the comment section what you think guys with this approach. But uh, it looks great. It looks great and fantastic. Okay, let's move on to the other uh, parts of the building. Yeah, and uh, for the roof, let's just select this and uh, I'm going to use um, uh, goodies, arcade goodies to apply a different finish for this roof. I'm going to go here under design and then find design extras, accessories and roof accessories. This you have to install the goodies before you can uh, run this uh, uh, guys. And then here you would see under the library there is nothing so it means we need to load in the library for accessories so I'll go here under libraries and objects library manager and then let's um, add in accessories library under this pc or local disk c if you are using um, windows let's find the program files and uh, graphisoft arcade 26 accessory library choose and hit ok once it's been loaded it will load that once it's been loaded you go back to our roof accessories to apply the roof finish let's wait for it to to apply Okay, there we go let's go back again while it's your roof is being selected and then go under design um roof extra sorry design extras accessories and then roof accessories here what we'll do you we'll see now we have a roof surfacer we can go here under roof surfacer settings and i'm going to change the finish to be a rounded tiles so uh, italian tiles okay and then uh, i'll choose the d3d detail level to be detailed change the fill type to be um, just a background fill and background pen i'll just use a screen uh, the fill pen i'll use 0 0.15 the contour i'll use 0 0.13 and then i don't want to make to randomize the surfaces so i'll use one surface just like that oh doesn't want to what's the problem yes okay so there we go and then once we are done with it we can hit okay to apply the concrete roof tiles into our roof there we go perfect so it looks great that's what i wanted us to achieve and then there's a very good tool to clean up the the veggies called um veg is it is it roof page or what so if we go here under roof let's go under the roof okay and then we activate uh, the object tool open its settings there is um let's find i would say roof let's search for roof i don't know exactly the the folder for that but i know yeah the badge board sorry <laughs> So this patch board tool is impressive. So I could use this kind of a cut end tool. It doesn't have a lot of settings to do. It's only that you need to make sure the angle uh, correspond with the roof angle or the pitch of your roof. That's it. That's it. And then you can use three detail level to be full and you can change the materials to what you like. I'll hit OK and then I'll place it there. So select that. And use this pebble hotspot to stretch it to whatever size you want. I think this has to go all the way to the size of the roof or the length of the roof. So, and then I can position it on the perfect position. So, the best thing to do is to open this elevation and as, um, make sure the height for that it's been placed. Just wait a bit. wait 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 okay once it's here let's see okay it was supposed to be the other way around so i can control m to mirror 
using this let's mirror mirror it vertically like that it sounds heavy it looks heavy yeah perfect so control d to drag this all the way to there yeah perfect as you could see we can now control shift m to mirror a copy vertically it will be a challenge to do it on a 3d i mean on elevation i don't know can we stretch the length from here there we go we can perfect impressive stuff i like this to treat my roof especially concrete roof tiles or even using um, the the roof uh, sheets so if we check on 3d you could achieve the same effect by having a black uh, so this has to go all the way because it's not on the level so I'm gonna say here and select this move it right on this edge so I could now change the material to match the entire design so instead of having uh, I would override the surface to be the same um, is it black what that paint powers raise the paint 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 okay here it is there we go we can hit okay to apply the changes check on a 3d it now matches our theme great that's perfect fabulous all right so i think now we've covered a lot of stuff and uh, we need to give a little bit of a base to our project so i'm going to go to the ground and then uh, i'm going to activate the mesh let's activate the mesh tool and then i'll use the boundary to fill in with mesh like that select it and then get rid of the fill cover fill makes your file heavy guys be sure on how you use it i don't use it in large surface <coughs> sorry in large areas but uh you have to understand it before okay that's basically what i wanted to to do so for this you could now decrease the height of your terrain maybe to somewhere there depending on how you want your things to look like okay it looks great it looks great i can this can be done better maybe instead of having it all the way to there i can maybe break it down there so i could come here on the floor plane and then uh, let's make sure this wall is the same let's suspend group control shift d and move this wall to here and it's supposed to to 20. you know what let me just leave it for the sake of this demonstration because uh we still have a lot of things to, to cover and this is just uh minor things all right so let's move on to the other side for the i would treat this by adding a capping on top of my garage uh garage wall right or garage roof or private wall so i will activate the beam tool and then open its settings and i'm going to use um, either yeah the center of that and change the material to let's find something darker now go for paint the same paint i've been using e this paint make sure it's across all the surfaces hit ok and then you can start applying it oh sorry you can start applying it here going all the way like that let's zoom in there 
place it there and then it's going to end it end here all right so it looks huge it looks horrible what i need to do is to select all of this and then change the size to the height is going to change to 50 and this also gonna change to 50. it has to be just a simple cap a trim line but this can be maybe one and five something like this yeah just to make a nice trim above your roof something like that so i move on to the other area of the the building like i said we have a lot of stuff to do and uh, clearly i want to have um, a kind of uh, so instead of uh, let's just get, get rid of this i'll get rid of these two slabs same applies to this one because they are in the same line with the slab so this one i'm going to drag all the way to there right and then it's going to be the same to this right let's make it outside it has to create more like a feel this is going all the way to there no but it won't, it won't work like that let me just undo and i'll show you how the best you can do with this let's undo undo all right so i'm going to draw a wall let's pick this wall here and then draw a wall coming from his area make sure it's a polyline kind of arrangement and then that will go all the way to there right click and then hit ok let's make sure this is turned on inside right and the height of this wall should be around 600 somewhere like something like this okay and then uh, it's going to be drop down here something like that as well and then the this i'm going to pick it and then move it inside by 230 same applies to this side All right so that you can have this kind of a feel and then uh, here sorry unsuspend your groups and then I'll select this wall to make sure it sits underneath this wall. And then I'll do the same to this one. Okay, so this kind of feel that I want to create. And maybe I could choose a different material for this wall. Uh, I could use the same uh, paint we've been using to emphasize our elements let's go for that paint hit ok right and then this is what i want or oh, i could have used this wall should have continued all the way to the let's turn on that perfect so i don't know why this is not okay i think i need to bring the height of this back back to the original height and then this could go up to be flat like that okay and then the damage that i've caused onto this i fix it and fix it also the side and then we can get rid of this wall the slip they can be on the same line let's make them on the same line something like this and then we're gonna have a beam here a column here that will frame up the whole thing so i'll go up here on the ground and let's make this wall can make this wall 230 what can
can I do for this wall? I can make a box here. Let's make a box like this of 230 by 230. This one I'm going to turn it on inside, right? So that if you check here, I think the best way I could have moved back this wall yeah yeah I think let's undo let's undo this right I could have uh, moved the bathroom these two toilets wall back maybe by 300 right and then this one we trim it off same applies to this one oh, make sure the slab also follows i think this is where our kid needs to improve the slab has to be associated with with walls so that any changes that i'm making in terms of the position of my walls it's adjust or updates automatically i don't know why does it take them for a while to fix this kind of issues it's not a big thing but it's very annoying especially when you're doing projects of this magnitude so this i would say 115 or i could just stick it like that okay and then i could uh, split this wall into two like that and then select this ones make sure you clean up the connection here the jointing by intersecting them so these two i'm going to i can just make it one let's just make this wall 460 instead of staking them and then turn the reference location from the inside i'll move this to the edge i would open its settings and set it to be that paint gray this paint of ours and then one thing again I want to do is to make sure this window it sits right on the edge of this column okay so that on 3d it gives us this effect of this is starting from the ground going all the way like that gives a nice impression so i also pick parameters of the slip and apply to this one something like this and then now now comes the time of windows even if i haven't finished the side this has to go all the way or i can increase the height of this window i mean of this wall like that and then also that something like that okay looks great already even if i haven't fixed this issue at the back but uh, i could see my building is starting to get shaped now for the kitchen window i don't want to have a kitchen window like this so i will uh, i will use um, a, a different approach to this i like the material and the like so i'll pick parameters of the material and the size right and then I'll go back and then I'll apply I'll apply that or inject it to this window type because this one I can also uh, come here and change okay let's just apply and see the it will give us that and then I want to have um, two panes Oh, I could have used these ones right yes I think I could have gone with these ones and then it's going to be top hangs let's go with this one it's going to have a uh, top hang this one also top hang let's see on 3d I'll change this to be 600 the height for the window yeah 2.5 i think it looks great okay for the garage as well i would go 
with the same style so i'll pick parameters of this apply to this window and then apply to that window and then uh, for this i'm going to make the height 300 because it's a garage door and go to the ground and fix the position of the windows let's see like this move it here I could change maybe to two meters something like this let's check on 3d great nice 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 stuff all right so that's basically how i will be treating the entire structure so <clears throat> as you could see we have a nice back view here we can apply another window on top we have to bring more of lighting in the <clears throat> in the lounge or the active spaces for the these two doors what i would do i'll go to edit because there's a much that we can achieve here <clears throat> sorry about that and then let's find a model attributes change this to metal paint or aluminium sorry and then i'll go back oh okay 3d level we need to say full resolution so what i need to do again is from the the door settings I don't want to use this um, grid let's go for a plain plain grid okay then hit okay this should be our and then uh, let's make it close on 3d for both sides same applies to this side same applies to that side okay um to that will lead us to our end of our video let's just quickly place the pool so i'm gonna go here and ground and then activate the object tool let's open its settings and then let's search for pool we have different types of swimming pool that we can use here i find there is this um yeah let's go with this one there's really nothing much you could do with the settings of pool other than just changing this to full resolution right and then hit ok come here and place it I'll select this control E to rotate it that way and then unfortunately you cannot stretch to define the size oh you can so me, let me position it here like that and then I can pick the inside hotspots to stretch it that way so if we check on 3d you will have something like this but it will be positioned right on the edge of your your slab like that okay let's now trim off our 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 ground select this pick one of the, oh sorry let's pick one of the points and subtract i'm going to subtract this to here oh instead of subtracting it from there i need just to subtract the only area where covered by the pool which is this side okay and then uh, i can get rid of this line i can add another polygon for the slip here to there I think this line was just used for let's see it was just the feel it was just the feel used 
let's check on trade and see all right so this slab also i will uh, reduce this to there and then uh, i can decide to change and remove the pool deck or change the 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 pool deck uh nosing the pool deck uh yeah i think the pool let's move the pool deck to maybe 50 and then see yeah not bad because i want to extend this to there similar place to that side and the side here okay so that's basically that for these kind of um, beams like I said we have to change the material to be the same as our walls in order for us to get rid of that line so this will be under paint is it paint titanium make sure they're all linked something like this even though there is a a, a line there that means the beam needs to go all the way gentlemen it needs to go all the way to to here somewhere there but i just, just leave it the way it is <coughs> okay so there are, there are pretty much a lot of things to be done here guys um uh, that i would like you to take this project and own it and complete it things like applying or putting the ridge cap for this roof it's also important and then another metal um thin ridge cap for here and then we would have a, another more like a gutter this side as well applied on both sides and that will be the end of our video um if you manage to make it to this so to this end i really really appreciate your input guys into this channel so check out the link on the description to download the project files that have been used um in this video and uh, make sure to subscribe if you are new here or if you haven't subscribed and you've been watching our videos without doing so please that's the only way you could support our channel by just subscribing make sure also to share this video with those you think they will benefit a lot so if you find this video interesting as well make sure to leave um, a like into this video thank you i will see you in the next um, video bye bye